So what's the real reason for addiction and alcoholism? There's so many reasons why people think they become dependent on a substance or a behavior, insecurity, fear, resentments, you name it. There's a whole bunch of them. Remember though, the problem we're talking about here, the drinking, the drugs, the food, the spending, whatever, isn't actually the problem. It's what we're using to cover up the real problem, which is our thinking, most likely our subconscious thinking that has been programmed incorrectly in most cases for decades. So now we can reprogram the subconscious mind to think and act differently, but it takes a little work. Hi, I'm Dennis Berry, best-selling author and life coach for addiction recovery, alcoholism, and life mastery. And I've been helping people drastically change their lives for the last 15 years. So when I say it takes a little work, that's so true. It's nearly impossible to completely shift your thinking and behaviors in a week especially if it's taken 20 or 30 years or more to really get deep into your addiction. I was working with this very successful gentleman, a lawyer in his early 50s, about five years ago, and he came to me with a crippling drinking problem. He was drinking a couple pints of vodka every day in addition to other things. And uh, he would stop at the liquor store in the morning and get four half pints and put one in each breast pocket of his jacket and then carry the other two out to the car and start drinking them in his car. So he finally got a DUI and his life was just crumbling around him and he was starting to have health problems and of course relationship problems. Well, we started working together and dove into where this started because he had a nice childhood. His parents were very supportive. They weren't abusive. He was a star athlete in high school. He did really well in college and that's where he met his first wife. And then he got divorced and remarried about 15 years ago, had a couple kids. Everything looked okay on the surface, at least from the why is he drinking like that point of view. But remember, the drinking isn't the real problem. The drinking is what we're doing to cover up the real problem. Well, it turns out his first wife cheated on him with a friend of his over 25 years ago, and he got crushed. He really didn't drink that much at the time or even a little bit after that, but he never resolved that anger and that heartache. So if you don't resolve these hardcore events and things that happened in your past, they're going to continue to haunt you until the day you die, which will probably be a little before your time if you don't do something about it. Anyway, we started working on his unresolved pain that was wreaking havoc on his life. And in a few months, he started to see some drastic changes. But remember, it, it takes time and effort to reprogram the subconscious mind to drastically change and master your life. It also takes honesty, open-mindedness, and willingness, which I talk about in detail in my best-selling book, Funky Wisdom, A Practical Guide to Life. It's the how approach. First, honesty. I can't solve a problem. I can't admit it. Yes. Second, open-mindedness. I need to be open to seeing new ways of thinking. And finally, willingness, which of course, I become willing to do things differently to get different results. All of this usually comes with some sort of pain or suffering. I wish I could tell you it was different. I wish I could just say, hey, I understand that, but usually I don't get that until I'm in some sort of pain and then I become willing to see things differently. So that was the case with my client. He hasn't had a drink in about five years, but not only that, his entire mindset has shifted from one of anger, fear, and resentment to forgiveness and love. And that's the transformational change that I'm talking about. So to get back to the title of this video, what's the real reason for my addiction or alcoholism? The real reason is that we have unresolved emotions that will rarely work themselves out, especially on your own. It requires time and effort and accountability partner like a coach or a counselor to really steer the boat and get you where you need to be. So if any of this resonates with you, if you know anybody who's struggling with any sort of addiction, food, sex, spending, alcohol, drugs, smoking, give me a call. I'd love to chat for a little bit, see if you don't feel better and a little more confident, like almost right away. So I know firsthand, having been clean and sober since April 8, 2003, that it is not easy, but you don't have to do it alone. I'm here to help. I'm sending you all love and good vibes. Have a great day today.